So we are live, okay? Uh, guys, you gotta go to the brief and pull from the. The man is saying. Yeah. Okay. Alright. So we just want to say good evening. No, this is different. I, I kind of get messed up with the good evening, good afternoon part. <laughs> I don't know when it's afternoon for when it's evening, but. Start at 6 30 and go. <laughs> so good evening to everyone. Um, we just want to say welcome to the debrief uh, show. Um, pleasure to be here with you as we bring the discussions, as we talk about a number of things. Um, so and, uh, we just want to say good night to everyone. Please, if there is any technical glitches or any difficulties you're seeing or hearing, let us know so that we can rectify it. We are dealing with technology, so we depend on you to help us as it relates to letting us know what you hear or what you are not hearing. I don't know why am I referring here, right? So, again, we just want to say good night to everyone, all right? We just want to take a couple of minutes to share the link. Uh, we have a very exciting panel, and we know it's going to be an exciting show as well. So we ask that you bear with us while we just share it to a couple pages to a couple people so that they are aware that we are live. Um, why am I having difficulties here? All right, that we are here. And then um, you guys share it out. Let's go ahead. Just get the link. So we just share some link. Um, we also want to hear from you tonight. We want to hear what you think. We're discussing uh, the whole situation as it relates to COVID and the reopening. And we have two wonderful, exciting, guess that would take us through the whole journey and uh, what they think pertaining to personal opinion and also uh, their political opinions so it's going to be a very interesting show tonight and as i said we want the full engagement from you so just give me one second because there are some groups that are waiting for us to share in that we always share in and, and so I'm just taking the second out to just post to them to let them see that we are live. Um, there's so much groups. We post a lot of groups, sorry. Um, and then we would introduce our guests and then we will go straight into the conversation. But as I said, we want your, we want your engagement. Uh, we want to hear from you. We want to hear what you think, what's your views, both of the panel um is willing to take information uh sorry questions and i show no day we're willing to go back uh, there is a group that is on facebook by the name of covid 19 group as well so uh, i guess that we may be getting a number a number of questions uh questions from them so let's hope that they engage us um we encourage that you guys please 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 if you can share the link because um we want as much interaction and the discussion as possible so we are begging you to share the link um, share it on your pages, share it on your WhatsApp. We are on um, with a very exciting panel. So without further ado, we want to say welcome to the Debrief TV show. It's always exciting to bring the show every Tuesday to you. Um, I'm your host, Kimar Safri, my co-host, Damani Small, Kimar Stewart, um, Jeremy Beckford. <laughs> uh, we are Mrs. Simon. I, I think he's uh, doing some daddy duties, so we can excuse the daddy duties. Um, in this regard, I probably th would think he's down home because he live in the country and the rain falling. But <laughs> you know, the agents when the rain falling, <laughs> right? Okay. Um, but nevertheless, we want to just say hi, Simon, because we know he's going to be on the discussion. Nevertheless, so from there, uh, from here, we also want to introduce our lovely guest. Um, is it an S on guest or just guest? <laughs> uh, Are you asking that question? And uh, we have uh, the wonderful Miss Verla de Pisa, president of Democratic Labour Party. She's not new to us because she's been on the show, I think it was last year. Mm -hmm. must have been last year, last she year she was on the yes. show. Um, so it's great to have you back with us, Miss de Pisa. Thank you for inviting you, me. You know, thank you. You always come at the time we called. Um, and we also have Mr. Paul Gibson, he's the shadow spokesman on health for the People Party for Democracy and Development, better known as PDP. So, Paul, we want to thank you for coming as well. We want to thank your leader for sending you. Um, we would know that you were well. Thank you. 
right? So we want to jump into the discussion as it relates to COVID-19. Uh, we've seen that the country is, um, can we say, is fully open back to the standpoint where the public have no more curfews on them and they're free to go. There's no more names of um, letters at the banks and what's not. Um, so we still, we have a full open of the country. Uh, we're no longer allowed to stay here six feet, three feet, good though. <laughs> Uh, but the country has been open, um, but we also want to look at the fact that our borders, um, which I keep hearing have never been closed, uh, but we are looking to resume commercial flights to Barbados. And how would that impact us? Uh, we've also heard about the number of programs that government have put into place as it relates to um, the tourism funds, uh, social funds, um, funds to be a low person out of these situations, and there's funds, the unemployment funds. Um, we want to hear what the parties have to say, and this is a great platform for it because many times uh, we don't get to hear persons in their fullness when they speak. We always get these snippets from the media, and sometimes it's never really what the party had to say. It's just the part to sell the paper or the media. So this is the platform where there's a no hold bar, and both parties um, the PDP and the um, Democratic Labour Party have a chance to let the many viewers that are popping up know about what, um, hear what their views as it relates to COVID-19. And just because there's the lady among us, uh, Pop, Mr. Lincoln, uh, Mr. Pisa, welcome. And anything that you would like to add to before we start. First of all, I want to congratulate the people of Barbados for the manner in which they themselves during the lockdown. In particular, I know we shouldn't single out, but we have to single out in this case, our health professionals. They went above and beyond. I knew some of them personally, and they were almost always out of contact because they were almost always on duty. It is very difficult to be on duty 24-7 but they felt their calling and their duty and this country i do believe will be forever grateful to them for the manner in which they handled the crisis that we were experiencing we had some infrastructure before we had to hustle and build other infrastructure we had to beef up um, in, in particular i want to speak about the best dos santos laboratory those workers we made when we think about the frontline workers we're probably thinking about the doctors and the nurses but in order to keep those hundreds of tests running that required ultimate 100 percent dedication of staff at the lab and there is no way that we could have this conversation without also congratulating them for their dedication they continue to test all now like there were tests up to yesterday i haven't seen any report for today um, which means that even though there are no persons who require medical attention we still have our lab techs who are stepping up and still manning the front lines on behalf of the country and we really do need to take a pause not for clapping but to meaningfully say but not that is not to cry down the clapping but we have to verbalize yeah. how much their efforts have made to I the people to of barbados well. Yeah. well you you would know that i am interested in that because um anybody who attended the errol bar lecture in january of this year would know that i do believe that we have to start recognizing different professions and different vocations and recognizing them in a meaningful way that they receive true compensation for the work that they do and, right, so when i gave that speech in january i had absolutely no idea what was going to be for all us in a couple of months um i don't think i'm pursuing a prophetess or anything of that nature it it just stands to reason that we need to be valuing our health professionals more in a tangible way so yes i do agree with you that they need to be feeling it in their pockets Definitely. our reassurance because they are there and mr gibson from the pdp any opening statement sure we jump well, thank you so much for having the people's party for democracy and development on your program uh, the pdp 
Um, I um, bring greetings from the Honorable Leader of the Opposition, um, Reverend jo Joseph Bishop Joseph Adley. Um, and he wanted to be here this evening, but there was another matter that he, for which he was preparing. And he I humbly uh, um, agreed to come onto the program. Um, I too want to say thank you so much for um, to the people of Barbados, first of all, because without the people of Barbados, we would not have been able to successfully uh, run over this, this challenge of COVID in terms of the sequest um, being sequestered, um, staying home from schools, closing restaurants, and so on. And everybody was pretty complicit. Um, I too want to thank the particularly the teachers, the police, uh, the pharmacists, and, and a lot of persons that were up front in dealing with, with this matter of COVID. Um, people don't realize, but you, you realize how important um, certain things or certain people are when you find yourself in a situation with COVID. I mean, there are certain, a lot of parents were going crazy because they could not believe that a teacher can keep a child um, in a class, you know, in a classroom from eight until, until three. And um, I think we have a new found respect for teachers. And, um, and, I, and I want to say that um, we certainly are not at the end of COVID. Um, COVID ha is not over. We are at, a, at another dispensation of the episode, but we have just come to the end of making sure that we didn't have any more um, persons from outside of Barbados coming into the country and spreading COVID. We are now at another junction, and I suppose this is what the program this evening will be about, and I, I'm sure it will be very exciting. I look forward to sharing sure. my thoughts. I have a question. Uh, yeah. This is to, to both of you. Y'all made a common point this evening about the public service, so the teachers, the police, the health workers. Currently, we have a situation where the government passed the boss program. We're about to cut the wages of those very same essential workers. So do you agree that the government should exclude those persons who would have been on the front line from boss? I'm first again. That's okay. Um, the, to actually answer that question, we would have to understand the structure of BOSS. Mm -hmm. And the fact of the matter is that the way in which BOSS is structured, it doesn't matter whether a civil servant opts for the bonds mm -hmm. or not. They have structured it in such a way that if you say no, they still issue the bonds in your name but give you cash. So they, they have found a, a roundabout way. Um, it is, I, the jury is out as to whether or not there is any transaction costs attached. Um, the jury is out. This is the first month beginning next month, beginning tomorrow. Yes. Um, when we get to see how it will actually operate and if what they say is what it will translate to. The, the manner in which the legislation is written does put some onus on the civil servant, the public worker. However, they have very cleverly drafted it in such a way that the government isn't losing out at any point in terms of the bonds. We're waiting to see whether the public servant loses out. Any public servant who opts for the bonds, in my estimation, on the mathematics of it, loses out. Oh. <laughs> okay, because five, the inflation rate right now is four point five percent. Okay. So if you are getting five percent on it, no. Yeah. And you get it in four years time. Yeah. And inflation is not static. Mm -hmm. You are likely going to get less than zero percent in question, real terms the question what, what i would like to put to you because I, 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 I wanted to respond to it but but the the reality is this um unfortunately and and, and I, I i agree with you where the way you speak to the, the legislation and how things are being done we have a situation in barbados where um the the barbados the party are like bulls in a china shop they, don't, they have no care or regard for how Barbadians feel. I disagree. They have no care or feelings for how specialized groups feel. They're not sitting and, and having conversations with doctors, pharmacists, medical people, soldiers. What, right? and what, what is happening is this. Um, and, and, and if they are speaking, um, they, they are speaking from a small, small group. 
unfortunately, when you listen to Barbadians, when you, you know, when you listen to the voice of Barbadians across this country, Barbadians are not happy with how things are being done and how the um, really nearly the constitution is being roughed up and changed and, and so on. And I, I think this is, this is one of the bigger issues that we have because it's not only the, the boss program, it is the matter of, of the changing of the laws that manage whether you can build on a piece of a, 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 a roof on your house or expand your house and stay in it. There's the whole matter of how you know, they did the, the bus fares. They, they're, 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 just, they're just doing what they want, how they want, in a very roughshod way without getting inclusion and involvement. Now, in respect to, to boss, um, my concern was the process. My process, my concern was really the process. Okay. I found that the, 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 the unions were really not listening to the voices of the people of Barbados. The unions were not listening to the voices of the people of Barbados. And unfortunately, I am also aware that there may even be some union people that may be getting involved in politics very soon, right? <laughs> and, and these are things that we have to be very, very careful with because it colors, the, 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 you're tarnished. It, you're tarnished. And, and, and if the unions are not representing people properly, we have a problem. So this is my issue with the process. Yes, we need to raise money. Yes, we need to adjust our, our balance sheet in, in, on the books. Mm -hmm. But the reality is that the, we have to think that persons currently cannot be given a 5% increase in salary on the one hand mm -hmm. and given a 10% um, pay cut on the other hand. And I'll tell you this, as was correctly said, money has value. And you, there are things that can be done with that money over a four-year period that can make much more money mm -hmm. than, than going into the bonds. But, but it, but it, but it, it, it has, it has a, a, a collateral conversation as well because all of this happened against the backdrop of VAT forgiveness, mm -hmm. NSRL. A billion, over a billion dollars. But, 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 but would, it be, would, it would it be fair to say? Corporation tax drop. And I haven't heard that the companies themselves, we, if, if I may, we, we've heard how the public servants are to fill a gap. Yes. But we haven't heard concomitantly that the companies, whoever they are, because they haven't been named, who will be carrying out whatever these capital works are, are also going to take a cut on whatever their contract will be. Yeah. We haven't heard that private sector will be following suit or something similar so that we are having monies transferred over to government and having that spread. Yes, we have heard that the average citizen can participate, mm -hmm. but Having said that, we also haven't got any forms to allow them to participate. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, that is moot. Um, yes. and, and less of a concern for me when persons are going about it voluntarily. The, the concern for me is that those persons who are buying into the hype that this is wonderful and the bank is only giving you mm -hmm. zero point whatever percentage and mm -hmm. we're giving you five percent, they're leaving off a part of the conversation which says we're giving you that in four years time so the value itself is not going to be face value you mean it's the not going to be a value be no what is in your pocket and and how you can spend it when you finally get it also all the talk about it being uh, commercially viable that you could take it to the bank when your average monthly bond is a couple hundred dollars it is of zero interest to a commercial bank and we just have to be very clear on that you would have to accumulate those over time and it depends on what you're going for because it, it would have to be a soft loan yes. to for education or for travel for for any financial institution to be interested in a couple thousand dollars worth of those bonds they would have to have greater value than that i know persons with forty thousand dollar bonds who couldn't get the collateral value out of it in in commercial space mm -hmm. so i am confused as to how you could tell yeah I, I am confused as to how you could tell people that when they get a bond that has a value of a couple hundred dollars mm -hmm. that it is going to be in any way Significant. Legal tender, yeah, yeah, yeah. that you can use it like legal tender. One of my challenges with that, well, sorry, one of my challenges with that though is that, the, the, to be fair, uh, we are understanding the, the reason why the boss program came about and we've heard from, quote, uh, I would say credible economists that have said, I know both, region, both local and regional that have said that the boss program is an excellent move. Um, it is like a it benefit. Was in the 90s, it yes. was a beneficial move. Uh, we've understand the 
the previous administration had a similar in some cases where well, they didn't call it the same name but that was a catastrophe in, in to a large degree but the people have seemingly accepted boss as a part of giving back to the COVID-19 situation where government is trying to free up itself to be able to have funds to do other things. And I've seen I've, I've seen little of the negative against boss and more of a positive that people are willing to upset boss and are willing to say, yes, this is something that I'm willing to give a, ch where, a chance to. Where are you seeing that though? Because we haven't had a return of the forms as yet. Uh, no, I'm not talking about return of forms. I'm talking about a comment. Let Jim read the German comment first. The, I'm, not, I'm not talking about the, the return of a form. I'm talking about the fact that the public have said, yes, we now have to wait and see what's the feedback. But it's also optional. So it, we can't sit and make it feel like it was a mandatory anything. It is an optional scheme mm. that persons can put in yeah. their money if they want. So, so that is another part that we have to look at. All right, um, Perla and Paul. Now, I understand it is the job of an opposition party or grouping to oppose most or everything that a government does. Right? right? I'll be fair. But when I look at the boss program and I look at the circumstances through which Barbados finds itself at this given time, and this is me being independent. This is not me preaching a DLP hat and a DLP hat, the PDP hat. No such thing, but go ahead. Right? I'm just saying. This poor, this, this poor, this, this, this I guess I know. I guess I know. Sorry, go ahead, go ahead Jeremy. Build point quickly so we can. Okay, yes. We got a lot of questions, this, so build points quickly. This program, the boss program. Um, when you look at it, you look at it in the context of which um, it is put on the table today for Barbadians. Now, first we said that there was no ban from the public of Barbados, um, and the unions went ahead with it. The unions' constituency is sorry, right. The unions' constituency is the, are the workers who actually subscribe with them. So if their person said, "Look, we are in agreement with this," which I saw the UPW said that their general counsel said yes, then they have to go with that. Five hundred people. Out of eight thousand, regardless yeah, of how much, no. regardless of how much you want to call it, no, 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 there are the, that is their mandate. We have in Barbados, we had a situation where part fifty three thousand people voted for a government over two hundred seventy five, and we have to accept that that is the government of Barbados, right or wrong? Oh, I, 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 I know, I know. It, it, is, it is in reality, right? So that it was their constituency, right? Um, Verl, I heard you speak about. Um, if the private sector is taking a cut on this, or the private sector is taking a cut on that. Um, I have not heard major private sector companies saying that they're going to lay off people, one. <laughs> on. They're not saying it, but they're actually well, doing no, it. No, no, I am, I, am, I, am, I am waiting until I see the actual figure in front of me, one. Mm. Number two, I want you need to remember that prior um, to COVID, the government of Barbados, and this is being honest, the government of Barbados was in the process of renegotiating a lot of contracts which were left by the previous government. And the government has renegotiated a lot of those contracts. So if you go back to a lot of these persons and say, well, listen, we need to renegotiate again. But you already took me from a billion to half a billion. Where else can they go? Well, I don't know that that is true because we have been told that they were renegotiated, but we have not been told renegotiated how. Okay? So it may not be that the dollar figure has changed. It may well be that the period of payment has changed. It may well be that but we the were terms told. have changed. But we were told. No. I saw it when we renegotiated no. the Barbados Water Authority. And we saw... Um, Inotech being renegotiated, we saw um, contractors but you that were told huh? what the terms were, and that's the. But point we were never told the term in the beginning when they were done. Then, but right. the last administration but what either. What he is saying is that they're taking less money, and I'm saying that but we can't are... make we can't make that statement positively without knowing that it is a fact. Well, okay, are, so we I, just know that they have been. We have been told well, they have been renegotiated. We have not been told how. Okay, all right. All right. Yeah, I, I, don't think the, I don't think the how is a matter for me when, yeah. I, when I know that we are being saved. Where you had a company, quote unquote, that were being paid a billion a, dollars. They don't got a billion dollars yet. The community tanks that were paid thousands of dollars for hundreds of thousands of for dollars for monthly maintenance and thinking of whatever. But at the same time, you could see, okay, the person now get. 75% less 
of what they are nego- that is a good negotiation that's, for that's me. I, so, if that is what has if happened, if, if, as you go to this, if you want to go this route, right? Like if you want to go this route, mm-hmm. we could obviously talk about the prison loan, which you have to pay thirty million dollars every January. How long have you been talking about that? I want to ask a question. How long has you been talking about that? Was restructured. That was restructured under this administration. So if you talk about the water thirty in the community, that you have to talk about that in the same breath. But but there's a bigger there's a bigger issue, Kemar, which is this. We had the, the former administration and, the, the, and the re, we negotiated the, the, the plan here under the Barbados Labour Party. But the question is, are the people in St. Joseph getting any more water? Or that is the big question. Period. It is not happening. A lot of money is going on, but people are not getting water in St. Joseph. That is still a problem. But if you never I, had the money, if you never had the money to dig the, the injection no, wells but, and you never had the no, money to raise it, that's the that issue no, where you no, have no, to no, change no, place no, no, on the ground, the, man. No, 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 those money going to people. I have failed to do it. No, 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 no. There were pipes. There were pipes. The pipes from St. Philip to St. John were repaired. Under the last administration, on the on the Democrat, I I mean very transparent here. Under the Democratic Party. Pipes are replaced from St. Philip all the way down to St. John mm-hmm. on that side on the, on the east coast of the, the island, right? So like, we have the same the challenge water. as that exists from there to, to here um, happening all over this country because mm-hmm. the pipes are over 80 to 90 years old. And we are two, over two years into an administration, the Barbados Day Party. And you know what's happening? People in St. Philip and different parts are still running out of water. The issue is this is why we, we, we see one of, the, one of the challenges we have is the smoke and mirrors. We have to be aware of it. Everybody talks about um, Auntie Mia and Mama Mia and so on. That nobody hired, nobody appointed a mother. Yeah, I'll go for it. We want it. We want, no, no. We, what, we, what we want. Silent right now. What we want are leaders that can influence and lead the country in a way that it, 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 it's, it's, to, it's to, be, to be led. And you don't think that the, 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 the Barbados, the party, is starting the, the ship on the, on the very. No, I mean, if you if you hear if you hear um, if there, there are pundits, I, I there are pundits from the Bar- there are pundits from the Barbados Labour Party that say. We are better two years into the Barbados State Party government as a people uh-huh. than we were ten years, um, two two years before. That is absolute nonsense. I as a matter of fact, I I will, as, as a matter of fact, yes, I, people are like. paying more water. <laughs> <laughs> people are paying more water. But uh-huh. why? People are paying more taxes. Why? People are paying more bus fare. Why? But the people are not taxes are, they yes, are, they are. Oh, they, they are complaining. They are complaining. They, they weren't yeah. speaking a year ago, but no Barbados are beginning to realize that. Yes, look. If we don't talk now, they're going to kill us. We have to say something. I but we understand that. Really 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 people are now beginning to speak. No, if, if I may, though, the, 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 water issue, mm-hmm. the water issue, the water issue is a larger mm-hmm. one than, than the administration, than, than politics. Correct. Matter of Correct. fact, you have to be the, the mistake that the last opposition made was politicizing water because that has had a boomerang effect on them. And what was the mistake the last government made with water? Not clean nice source. If I may speak mine first and then I'll answer that. Okay. We have yes, aging infrastructure. Yeah. On top of aging infrastructure, we are a water scarce country. Mm -hmm. Added to being a water scarce country, we have significant leakage of water, unaccounted for water. That is so true. we have several issues. Why I say it, it has been a boomerang effect is because under the last administration, the water means replacement program started. I haven't heard a word of pe- anything about it now, but we're replacing roads. So at some point in time, we will have to dig up the roads in order to complete the water means replacement. Secondly, we had started working towards desalination plants. The current minister announced that that was being shelved. Recently, he came back and said, well, maybe we're going to have to do it after all. And this is why I say they keep sh- they, it, it has a boomerang effect, because it was made to be a political issue. And it need not have gone there, because we still have, you mentioned the sewage, Kimar, so let me speak to that. We now have it pushed out to sea, and apparently, because we can't see it, it is time to forget about it. So it was better right? on the streets of our But was it in now, pushed out to sea before? The, I, I no, thought no, it was open in the street to push it out to sea. No, 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 no. no. I remember that was The opening of the sluice gate is a phenomenon that happens 
outside of sewage. Then not only just that get, is your the pipes control, are control the, 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 the sailing levels. Right. But remember, the but remember, the Thank sewers you. also in the in the, the when it starts get open, the all all was a part of it. So you was pushing out the, the whole thing having, to do do to the sea. it going out to sea is to my mind simply delaying the inevitable. And we haven't heard huh. about any fixes since then. So, so we I, can't I, see it anymore, so we're forgetting yeah, it about it. Used to be so, 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 I have a question for you. All right, so since you have... I need to get some on questions on the on the thing. Yeah, we got to have a COVID really quickly. What would have been the Democratic <laughs> Labour sure. Party's solution to eventually fixing the sewage problem on the South Coast? Well, but they never fixed it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We wait for you to ask that question. Yes, I can. To the extent that there is a report that exists, I believe. Yes, there's a report that exists. Patricia Innes, Innes that yes. compiled the report. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't think, and it was made public, I don't think that anybody is in any doubt as to what the plan was. And, but the reality, I, really respectfully to you, and, 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 and sorry if I interrupt you, but the reality is that the, the, the age of the sewage plant is really That is issue. the yeah. major it is issue. It I needs to be fixed. That is the it, major it needs issue. To be fixed, of right? course. And this is no, what we have I to disagree with yes. you. It, it really it, does need replacing yes. because when yeah, that sewage be fixed, plant yeah. was fixed, yeah. it was not and created as a. I'm going to go wrong on the terminology, but there are different categories mm -hmm. of sewage plant. And yes. we didn't go for the end product. No. We fell somewhere in the middle. So we don't actually treat. And, and this is a problem, especially since we keep increasing our tourism plant, which means that the number of persons per square footage, yes. and, and it is no longer per square footage, it is per foot cubed, because we keep going higher and higher. So what it means is that there is greater the pressure I, I am specifically speaking about the Hayat but there are other, the prod yeah. other but projects but the was the Democratic Labour Party I remember Randall Strowman there and still it's it's higher numbers as far as the concern in study was done so it could be higher now but it's at the end of it no the Democratic Labour Party never wanted to do an study they're planning one now in Holton and they're planning one in Holton as well again right next to an ecosystem and they're planning one in Holton as well again right next to an ecosystem but what what we what we need to recognize is that the sewage structure that is in place now mm -hmm. does not meet today's requirements. No, well, never mind tomorrow's. the future. You know, it's, right. it's, it's, never mind know. the future. And you can't really be building a structure Wolfie for now. You have yes. to be building a structure with your eye to down the road. And that's so, why you run a country as well. You run a country not looking at now. You're not you're not looking at running a country to try to win use political points or to to win as um a government in a political cycle it is about managing a country this, i mean i don't think this, i don't think this, we have members of the democratic we have members of the democratic party, party, party running the country we have members the of the democratic party here right there's a man by the name of errol walton barrow mm -hmm. right who was a true visionary yes. right now i'm a member of the people's party for the development i'm telling you i admire Errol barrow okay. and the fact of the matter is that the man flew over an aircraft flew over the area there in careful and saw a big area and said look we should put a university there right and if you look at the things that Arabo did over the years right this is what we need our leadership to do not to operate in a political cycle but to look at Barbados 10 20 years that's what your leadership is so you don't but think I, 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 I think the Barbados absolutely not so right. let me let me take some questions let me jump back on the boss because you know I, again no, you yeah. get questions first so somewhere. just give me who's going to read them though I, I, I lock out on my computer I'm we had one person asking Paul a question saying that. Let me, let me get about five or six one time both right. to them and then just go on and then we move back on the boss right. issue. The issue was he was asking about revenue streams mm -hmm. and what we can do to derive critical other areas of revenue streams. He said also said you don't want to be jumping from just from in one part to the other. Mm -hmm. Right? But what do you critically suggest in terms of a revenue streams? Post COVID, mm. um, yeah. we also had some person asking about this was to, to you, Mr. Pisa, about Michael Lashi being nominated. We give that after, right? I just no, no, question is coming. Right. 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 Michael Lashi being uh, nominated in Saint Philip North. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a road road. J. Williams asking, do you take his time for a cabinet reshuffle or don't say And how would you grade the cabinet that goes performance to COVID. thus far? Yes. There was one before that came also want to ask oh. about um, mm -hmm. acquiring your farm for the Central Bank for the same boss program. Yes. So I want to know how to? How to? No, the person asked 
can you call the central bank and ask to subscribe to the program? This is a point to <laughs> yeah, something. Well, to the yeah. extent that the central bank has been made the agent for the for the bonds, that would be the first phone call to me. The agent to protect the bond? No. It specifically names exclusive. them as exclusive agent. It has nothing right to do second. with protection. It has to do with the secondary market and only the central bank c c do can that. trade in them. Right. Okay? So whatever you wish to do with yours, you have to go through the Isn't central that bank. Thing? No. Right. Because the central bank really should be cocooned and cushioned from central government. Right. He said because it is to protect the economy, that their role should not be a political role. And also, it really does open the door. Matter of fact, if you read the act carefully, it, it, gives, it, it gives allowance for the printing of money. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, it specifically it. gives them not just agency, but the right to hold government paper, to buy government paper principally, not just as agent, but as a principal that they can hold government paper in their own right. So they're agent and principal at the same time, which is confusing for a lawyer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but outside of that, that. I, but it, it is was the biggest, when they were biggest conflict of interest yeah. that you can have yeah. is to be an agent mm -hmm. who is allowed to dabble in client funds that's right. okay because that's, right. that's basically what it but is it, it, <laughs> right but, but, bring it down to what people can understand before, before you bring it I, I want to say here publicly that you are spreading a lot of red herring this evening <laughs> And, I and because I know the correction that was you were able to back up, when you the red herring. That. Yeah, but uh, I would say this though. I, I mean, I know the uh, junior asked a question about what would the People's Party for Democracy and Development do um, in terms of stimulating the economy. And I want to answer, uh, Junior, thank you for that question. The reality is that. Is a PDP member? Uh, sorry? Is PDP member? <laughs> <laughs> no, he, no, he's not. He's, not. he's <laughs> a sensible Barbadian. <laughs> he's, he's, he's well educated. I don't know. But the point is this, yeah, right? Yeah. One of the things that we must remember is that I, I, we, are, we, are, we have to be very serious. This is COVID. Mm -hmm. We are. We, we were trying to get out of the, the financial funk that we were in. Mm -hmm. we, um, I think um, Dr. Dr. Kevin Greenwich calls it the apocalypse. Which is we had high fiscal position, we, we had no foreign exchange, and we had a lot of debt, yeah. right? And we were having no growth, right? Um, they were getting some movement going on, and COVID hit the entire world and, and it's messing everything up. But the reality is, right now, it is not just to stimulate the tourism leg. Again, that's not only that's not the only thing we should be stimulating, but we should be looking more at things like um, do, do, doing international banking, setting up IBCs. Um, there, there are countries in Africa that are getting very, very poor pharmaceuticals. Maybe we should consider, as Barbadians, setting up factories and saying, Africa, what do you want? Metformin, um, uh, some antihypertensives and so on, and making those specifically, right? And, and that, th that way, we will be able to get foreign reserve, yen, Chinese oh, currency, and so on coming in. No, 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 no. The question was asked, and I want to answer it, because the reality is that this is the type of thing that the People Party for Democracy and Development is, is pushing. The PDP has a very strong plan in regards, in regards to the creative arts and making money from animation and from um, production of music and that whole economy. There's, that's a one billion dollar economy that we have not even touched yet. So the reality is that we, what in this particular COVID situation, it is business unusual. It is business unusual. And we want the government to become, um, which, which they're not, to become creative and to stop going back to the traditional things and trying to trying to open, trying to open our gates, trying to open our gates and allow tourists in. Without, without looking at the other options that we can have to build Barbados up. There are many things we can do. Okay. Um, I, I, I want to, to make a, a plug in again. We, we started at this point, I believe we were off air at the time. Okay. I delivered the Arrow Barrow Memorial Lecture in January of this year, and it was entitled Reimagining a Different Barbados. Okay. And in it, I was suggesting that tourism being a mature product, it should be allowed to fly on its own whilst government starts babying other types of industry. You're an adult now. Like the mother bird would do, kick it out the nest, you start to it's fly, to kick it out. you go 
on your own. And let's face it, the, the hotel plant in Barbados is significant real estate and you couldn't want better collateral in Barbados than a piece of the land. And we're talking acreage okay. when we are speaking to the hotels. So they have the wherewithal, apart from having their own fund that BHDA set up mm -hmm. and having access to central bank funds, mm -hmm. which successive mm -hmm. governments have, have set up. In January, I shared the view that Barbados needed to be spending some time developing other revenue streams. The reason being that we knew from the 1990s and we knew from the 2000s how fickle tourism could be. It doesn't have to happen here. It doesn't even have to happen near here but it could have a negative impact on tourism. So we needed to have things that we could rely on. Starting, of course, with kick-starting agriculture because we have to, one, retrain our taste buds, and two, get back to feeding mm -hmm. ourselves in large measure. I don't think 166 square miles is ever going to be 100% self-sufficient in you know. agriculture, but we can be circumspect in how we import because we have managed to use what land we have in an intelligent way in order to promote agriculture. Oh, we, we, uh, brother, in regards to agriculture, I want to say that I believe that the, the Miyamotli administration should seriously consider replacing the Minister of Agriculture Wait. in this particular space. Amongst others. He is doing absolutely Amongst a poor others. job. I, it, it is... Are, I mean, you can be specific. My one is still dead. My one is still dead. If I may, because we, we have Can other issues as well, hmm? uh, we, we needed to have Weak. a conversation about cultural industries. When people think of it, they're thinking in terms of music. I'm thinking in terms of our food as well, not just our music. And But with our music we need to have it that it is not cyclical that it is accessible all year round fresh all year round like r b is like reggae is we need to bring that to our music product that it is something that is commercially viable all year long and not just three months of the year we need to have our cottage industries upgraded so that it is not just in somebody's garage that season things are being made, but that we're forging markets overseas for these products. I'm thinking about drinks that are quintessentially Barbadian, mm -hmm. that we should be pushing through the region first. I am even thinking about our fast food that should not just be in Barbados, but Wait, so UE students know all about what we have to offer, and it is time that they took a step out. So you say all this to contribute to the COVID to to to, to diversifying our economy. economy. Yes, and um, and we, I haven't even touched on renewable but energy where, where yet. Before you move far, right? Hold on, hold on. I just want. Oh, sorry, sorry. Question. Mark. There was a question on the floor about the cabinet and downstairs in the cabinet and grading in the cabinet. A part of what you said, a part of what you asked. Brought that discussion into being. So, you made the point about the Minister of Agriculture, and then you went on to see it among others. Yes. So, well, 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 critiquing the cabinet, that would be the first point of order. Then, not only critiquing, but you have to suggest uh, what would you do if you move the person from the place. Well, right. As as far as sorry, just let me add this yeah, as, yes. as a mm -hmm. piece to. Yes. Um, let me surround it, try to bring it in as much as to the COVID-19 situation yes. Yes. and the reopening of the, the country as much as possible so yes. that those that are expecting the topics to get feedback on those particular right. issues can, can also be. I, I'm not going to say a lot about the agriculture minister because he is, he, he's done a poor job. He's done nothing. I he, disagree he, with you right? 100%. Right. No, I, I'm talking about evidence, facts and data. I'm a scientist. Right, you bring facts and data. I don't want smoke and mirrors. Like, enough of the smoke and mirrors. But that's what Tell me what he's done. He's not. He's done nothing with agriculture. Mm -hmm. He's done nothing in the middle of COVID, before COVID, uh, for two years mm -hmm. with with the, with the country in terms of developing and so on. Or 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 spokesman on the creative Alan Springer did a tremendously comprehensive 
package on, 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 on the creative arts and so on, right? We, we looked at renewable energy in, in our party, the PDP. We looked at health and make, made recommendations. In respect to, to COVID-19, our recent statements in respect to the reopening of the borders, which is why I know one of the reasons we're here, is something that we need to, to really zero in because all of the progress that we've made, we have to be very careful. We've closed our schools, we've closed our banks, we've closed all of these things. And we are about, uh, and we've, we've gotten our, our, our situation in Barbados stabilized, yes. where we are now COVID free for the most part, and we're loosening the, the, the schedules. We've gone into a new dispensation where we're about to consider um, getting people tested. And I heard this from the lips of the Minister of Tourism. He said, we will test people 72 hours before arriving in Barbados. Yes. And then if they're tested and they're negative, then we will, we will, we will let, them, let them come in. No, that is total lunacy to say Wait. the least. I'll tell you why. The science says, that's bad science, by the way. If you are on an aircraft, and this has been proven, and you have 124 people on an aircraft, and this is actually something that happened. The left jury, everybody in the, on, the, on the aircraft was tested. Okay. When the aircraft landed, uh, eight hours later, you had 12 people that were infected with COVID. From the, they were tested before and they were tested after. Right? The reality is this. If you understand the science and virology and so on, yes. it takes 14 days for be, between the beginning and the end of the virus. Yes. If you test somebody 72 hours and their viral load is going up, going up to a measurable level, mm -hmm. you will, in a couple hours, you could have, even by, in, by, by flying five to eight hours, you can have a an aircraft full of COVID positive patients if they were tested 72 hours before. And this is why I'm saying even Dr. Lord agreed with, with us today. The PDP made a statement today in, in the Barbados today. And, um, and he agreed. He said, look, he said, we need to be more, we have to revisit this. He, we need to make sure that we test and where people are tested, they're, they're, um, they're quarantined. And if they're positive, they're isolated because, you know, you're isolated if you're positive, yes. you're quarantined if you're not. And the fa fact of the matter is that we need to make sure that to protect Barbadians, Barbadians are important. The G-O-L-D are, are our people. The goal is our people. And we cannot be knowing that Florida has a, a spiking rate of COVID and all of a sudden we're going to open our doors. No, but a question that we have purely to, irresponsible. Have but, 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 but I want to make one point. Mm. I do believe that we need to reopen, mm. but we should reopen responsibly. But I want to ask a That's question. Just, just okay. to clarify what um, the minister has actually said. Um, he didn't say before 72 hours. What he no, he said, said 72 hours. No, no. what he said mm -hmm. was that the before, you, you're yeah, yeah, before you embark on your journey to Barbados, mm -hmm. you must within 72 hours of the commencement of travel do a COVID test. Right. So From within your country. country. Within 72 hours. That's what I'm saying is lunacy. And person, that makes absolutely but, but, no but the question, medical and scientific The follow-up question they want the to ask. Doctors are losing their minds. If doctors are losing their minds in Barbados. Are we? No, no. The question that we have to look at, I know that a part of the COVID team, they look at... um what the world is saying i know they're also taking advice from world health organization and other experts uh not only here like, but i mean but your so responsibility guessing, are we are we then to say that else, our that's a different conversation our um information that we are getting from respected and noted uh entities are flawed because I, I don't think that Barbados... You're, you're making an assumption, Kev. No, 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 no. You're assuming that they are listening to... No, I, no, I, don't, I don't assume. Make, I think that they no, are. No, 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 don't think no, that no, but that's an assumption because I can tell you this categorically. But then they're using an assumption. No, 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 no. no. Oh. My, I'm talking clinically. I'm using facts no, no. and data. But how can, facts oh, and data. Understand, but how can Remember, we say... I'm a pharmacist. Right, right but I understand yeah. how... We, we are then saying our government is irresponsible by making that statement because I believe that yes, that's any exactly responsible government that's exactly what I'm saying no I, I think that's flawed no, because no. I believe that the government in itself will look to the experts from the World Health that's Organization you're assuming, you're assuming that but no Actually, any no, responsible no. person no, no, no. Would, yeah. this is not a part you have no. too much faith in the government no not faith in government I, so I you think, should have no, no. you then no, correct. Have but Paul, but Paul, no, no, honestly, don't look at me. Don't look at Paul. Paul. No, no, but Paul, honestly, no. to, to be to, to have be, faith in the science. No, no, I can't. No, I have to have faith science in the government in the sense that we we've no. been through a pandemic where this is not nothing that we aged or people before us in some cases have been through. Hundred years and a hundred years span, and mm -hmm. I'm just saying that the government of today rallied us through. This wonderfully. Started I'm not made. saying that. Started yeah, I'm not made. saying mistakes yeah. were not made, and yeah. they themselves acknowledge that mistakes were made. 
but compare to other countries, compare the places that I've read about, the government have rallied us to it. Excellent. If, you, if, you're, I, mean, sorry, go ahead. if I may, let me let me get back to the question itself. Mm -hmm. Now, I have a difficulty with ministers of government who at least, and I'm not saying at most, but at least appear to be protectionists in their policies. I'm thinking specifically about the Minister of Agriculture mm -hmm. and the caving in to the, the large enterprises in relation to banning the importation of chicken wings. Now, on the face of it, it may seem like a reasonable move because we have a glut of chicken. But it was a reasonable move. No. Because James Paul for chicken it. that mm -hmm. is James Paul in his private capacity as the CEO of the BAS. I am really the Pisa, the president of the Democratic Labour Party, and I'm giving you the, every organization will have some dissent. I am giving you the Democratic Labour Party's position on this. So I guess he would, well, I, I want, I I guess he would differ from is, this. He just had a position on it too. And that I is, guess he would differ from this We position. know that there are several small businesses mm -hmm. that not only thrive, mm -hmm. but exist on the sale of chicken wings. Yes. We know Dollar that Winters, Barbados uh, cannot supply the demand for chicken wings. So what you made the statement? So therefore, if you just want to move, I mean, the easiest way to move a glut mm -hmm. is to drop the price. Agreed. Good. They don't want to do that. They want to force the consumer to buy what they are offering at the price that they want. Okay? As opposed to, I mean, I'm going to eat chicken some days, chicken parts, or bake a whole chicken. And other days, because I am the mother of teenagers, they want wings. Okay, and it is wings that I would want to have. That is called choice for consumers. Really? There are also, if I may, there are there are persons who, moving aside from those who make a living off of it, there are persons for whom the cost effectiveness okay. is also a factor in their household budgetary concerns. Really? So when you remove from them the possibility of of buying a protein product that they can afford and expect them to buy a twenty dollar chicken when they, they buy local when they it, it is not just about buying local Brilliant. if they could supply the local wing market i would say yes but the they, so why did just bought me the, 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 the well, why did just bought make a statement for that? i will say in that, I will then say that is a responsible it, statement for james bought to make hold on that's a responsible statement for james bought to make if he does not think that the country can manage its own in terms of pork, in terms of chicken wing, and so so is it responsible and comment then, to make on his end? That is just one example because of course instance. the minister of small business and as, let's as not the young boy said, I have to go there because let's not go there right now. Okay, well, I want to hold on, 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 of NASCO, mm -hmm. but but we want we want to deal with one point at a time now. But this is dealing with who should go, and mm -hmm. I am building up my case for who should go. She's a I lawyer. am giving you the <laughs> example, <laughs> and I'm telling you why. I, I think I who am, should go. Wait, I started by saying. <laughs> wait, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I started by saying and in that has Nothing to do with no. the the rest of them. Who have nothing okay, to say? Okay, but are we playing politics here today? If, if, if you are saying, and this is based on, if you are saying, Paul is saying, okay, and Dar need to go, and then Ms. Depuis is saying there's a bunch of them need to go, but what charge do we have to bring against you? You want to hear why? Let me tell you why. Let me tell you. Let me explain. The reason, the reason why I said the ones that we wanted to go away. The reason why I said listen. The okay. reason why I said like that we need to have certain ministers go is because they are not performing. The, you, we, we are but that's only, all we are saying. The only thing we can what measure... What are they not performing right. on? What, the, the only that thing, is the case. The I, only thing I, we can I measure mean, people on are their performance. I have always said that we need... 
to make sure that every you're single always, minister you're, you're, in the cabinet, right? Every every single minister <laughs> in the cabinet needs to have a printed copy mm -hmm. of what his his or her responsibilities are. And that is published in our Barbados newspapers. And we, the people of Barbados, we, we the people of Barbados, are to hold them accountable. For example, the czar. What was the czar's role? Right? <laughs> you you, you have to you already identify that. No, 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 that's, that's, you, that's you, had to, you had to you had to identify if we knew what the, the czar was supposed to be doing he would not have made so many bungles initially he became on, a czar. he on, became he on. became a czar. no 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 he became a czar after six or seven weeks but he didn't start as a czar because he was he was a, a bit clueless but what is good is that we were able to he was able to develop a, a strike and be able to get so the, that's the good work is, good work these are the, the point is no the point is this that we need to make sure that we hold politicians accountable but, but we are using we cannot political even get, language cannot say, even that's get, a different part we are using political language we, we, and slang again we are saying yeah. okay we the, the opposition said it yeah. Mr. Pizza can say it. Uh, say, Kimar, hold on. Kimar, somebody yeah. here is saying that we need to allow Verla to make her point. Well, I, no, no, I will, I will allow Ms. Verla to make her point. But here I'm saying, we have so we, we got to be responsible at the same time. We we are using political language yeah. to say this person needs to be removed. We are using political language to say based on the non-performance. No, no, based on the non-performance. But there's no facts in any in what you're saying. So no, you're saying, tell me what they've done. Tell me what they've done. But you're not bringing if, evidence. No, no, hold on. Tell me what they've done. If if you are, if Kimar, you, you tell me what they've done. Being, hmm? They've done nothing. If you've been listening, I gave you specifics in relation to the Minister of Agriculture. I started to give you specifics in relation to the Minister of Small Business and the, the latest utterance that spoke against his own portfolio, mm -hmm. right? Speaking against small business, clearly without reference to them, given the statement that they came out and made after speaks volumes as to why he is not fit for purpose and then i can move on and i tell you i can build a case for all 29 of them but let's move on to the attorney general but you go on the different topics all the time no, let me just deal one at a time yes they want to go and i'm telling you all 29 need to go and i can tell you why all 29 need to go so if you have the afternoon i will run down all 29 for you we don't have the afternoon i've done two let me go to the attorney general we not even COVID could stop the runaway gun violence in this country. Oh my god. Not even COVID. But not even the Democratic point, Party, I tell you, Mr. Beasley. But Craig is on the low, though. No, it is not. Yes, it is. No, it is not. Nobody has presided over 50 murders before this attorney general. Mr. Beasley, before you go into parliament, no, right there was no, a shooting let her finish. Let her there finish. 23 people were shot this in one day. And, 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 yes, and, 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 and one died. Okay? No, one, one, death death too many. Many. Okay. one death too many. And at that time, the opposition spokesperson called for the resignation of the attorney general. I want him to take his own advice now and walk off the political scene. Why? I, because we are at 23 Kimar, by my do you, do you, do you remember? for this year. Do you and remember? we know today's the 30th of June. We had three months shut down in COVID. Brother, do you, remember you can imagine the if the response, place was open. Do you remember the a lot more people were dead. at that time? Mm. It's a bad you. incident. I was by overseas. one, the attorney general, the then attorney general of Barbados, and the incoherent and ad hoc statement which was made by the then Prime Minister of Barbados? No, I don't remember any. You don't remember it. Nobody can remember it clearly right now. But, but Kevon, Kevon Henry is asking how what? did the, how did the attorney speak against his portfolio when he has not both? the attorney? Well, sorry, the when Verla, Verla, the minister when he has sir. both. I, hold on. Sorry, I'm doing silent. Can, 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 can I make a comment? Uh, exactly can I make no. a submission? Uh, the reality is this. In respect and, I, and we, we we are on the topic of, of crime and murder and so on. Yeah. The reality is this. I lived in Jamaica for 16 years. Okay. All right? And I, when I came back to Barbados, I told people, look, we've got to be very careful. You know, this gun culture and this music culture is going to take us over. We have no way to run in Barbados. In Jamaica, I could have driven for five and a half hours at 80, 80 miles an hour and get somewhere. And what is happening is that we have had, under the Barbados Labour Party, under the Barbados Labour Party, we have had the highest murder rate 
in the Never. history of this country. Explosion. Pause and think about that. Has the world hold on. changed? No, 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 no. Hold on. Because the world has changed over the last two years. Pause so you cannot just bring that as a pickle. About that. As it, it, listen, buddy. Different. That is why we want to measure it. French in Barbados has gone down. Absolutely not, sir. Absolutely. I don't know which country you're living in. But I'm talking about Barbados. Talking about Barbados. Really royal Barbados. No, no, no. Don't their statistics. This is probably the Barbados paper party. Has gone down overall. But he's correct. The stats show that he's gone down. Murder. You cannot just measure crime by 50 murders. Sir, you have to look at other sir, things like burglaries, rapes, sir, arsons, sir, sir, fraud. They are all but the same. And we get it. And, and again, we get it. I will ask you. Did it start already? Did it start already, Barbados? Did it get it? I will ask you. Yes. 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 Actually, yes, come yes, on. Kimar, Kimar. Yeah. Come on. It continues, bro. It continues. It continues. Even in the politicians. Right it continued. Is Barbados' crime rate the highest it ever is in the history? Crime in terms of murders in the history? Let yes, me ask the criminal yes lawyer. Yes or no? Ask the criminal lawyer. Yes or no? Yes, no, no, no I'm asking yes. you. Yes, it is. Yes, murders, 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 yes. Murders, yes. Murders, murders, yes. But you may continue. We have a question. We have a question for We have more murders than we've ever had in the history of the country. But you are. You you, you, sir, you walk more across the country. Yes, he's correct. He's correct. He's correct. I am correct. Okay, the murder. There's a question. There's a question here. There's a question. Based upon your 29. Uh, so one here is asking yeah, I saw um, that F all are to go, who are to replace them? That well, can you give big, big, that's a red herring. Elections. <laughs> but election is not gonna replace them, they're gonna stay. We decided we did. We did. Say say In nineteen ninety one there was an election in Barbados. Somebody said them started the crime. I'm just saying the comments. Constitutionally due in nineteen ninety six. But we had elections in 1994. So telling me about the time span does not in any way answer the question. You know, it's yeah, interesting. Well, it was constitutionally due, and it held. You, 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 in 1991, y'all held the election two years earlier. I mean, in 94, y'all held it two years earlier. Uh, and in 2008, <laughs> you held it three months later. No, actually. It robbed us of time. That, too, <laughs> is, so that I mean, too is wrong because under the Constitution, it was correct. I will not say that I support it. Oh, because. That was a major reason why y'all lost. In the. In the psyche of Barbadians, yes, I felt hostage. Five years, I felt like a hostage. It's five years. Yeah. So even though the Constitution, you can be legally right, okay. But I am. In the letter <laughs> of the law, but the spirit of the law is something common. But I also think you said in the five years, but I think in the three, probably two, three years of the previous government, Barbados were fed up with that government. Um, but I want to ask you a question though. I know yes. you had mentioned about. Um, doing testing, for some person doing testing, and then when they get here, they go testing after. Yes. Um, you had obviously not the fact that the minister had said that within 72 hours that you could do a test. Yeah, he also said before that. Before coming. The minister said, he said, the minister said that before you board, if yeah. you don't get a test 72 hours before, right. when you board, yeah. you can be tested when yeah. you arrive in Barbados. Right? Now, yes. Yes. What, yes. What, would be, what would be your solution for what you're saying is the problem? Okay, so I, I thank you, sir, for that beautiful question, sir. <laughs> and, I don't want your burden solution. The well. And the reality, and, and, and you will, the lady in the, in the house. The reality is this the science dictates. When you look at Jamaica attempted to do what we did, mm. Antigua attempted to do what we did, and the least we can do is look at best practice. What is what? Did what did they do? They had to immediately halt their uh, allowing people just to come in and go into the society because you know why? In one day they had thirty four cases by just not testing. In Jamaica had a, a, an exponential increase in the number of cases. Now, even basic common sense will say, based on that experiential knowledge, the least you can do mm -hmm. is make sure that you protect Barbadians by testing people on arrival. If they are positive, they're isolated. If they are um, negative, they're, if they're negative, they're quarantined. And I'll tell you this. If you leave Barbados right now and go to the United States of America, how long would you be quarantined for? Two weeks. You at USA is asking every person arriving in, to the doors. I brought, just brought somebody from Colombia um, who was not well. They're they're, they're, so you're they're, they're people in <laughs> I said I said so you're contributing to I brought somebody thing, man. from Colombia to Miami. And on arriving in Miami, they had to be quarantined for two weeks because yeah. when you get to Florida, you have to be quarantined for two weeks. 
once you're coming from so you're saying but you're so why, why, why can't we why can't we but for a month. consider that you said that right? the person's coming in to book your vacation for a month two weeks in quarantine yes. two weeks a day yes so that's the pdp so, so that, that's the solution <laughs> it's one of them and that's not a real solution <laughs> no, no, no. I, I don't know about a month let me hear you more i haven't heard you more all right we got we got poor world saying how is it all right her and paul uh where did paul say he could replace them where did mr pizza say she would replace them. Interesting, none of them said they are suitable replacement for ministers. Don't they have the confidence in themselves? Uh, Corey, we don't elect ministers. You elect, <laughs> MP, elect, MPs. elect MPs. Right. And but, some of y'all select MPs. Right. Don't forget our part. Pardon? Some, some of y'all select MPs. I mean, yeah. select representatives. Candidates. Oh, candidates. Candidate. Look, we don't want to do this. No, 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 no. But you say select. select. Right now, right? I just gave you the email. Right now, remember St. James <laughs> North Barbados Labour Party. She still has a question about last year. Okay. No, no. I remember. Uh huh. That was question. Christchurch West Barbados Labour Party meeting. Uh, sure, you are good. But, but, but we're looking about your question. You see, uh, Christchurch when the other person, person um, you, it was Tana Bed that yes. actually won yes. most of the. But then yes. you were you were selected. But you want to know why? Because our process we're for is different from yours. Yeah, we know, we know different. Okay. That's why it's weird. We have right? a three-stage process. I, okay. okay. So which stage did Michael actually um actually won the nomination for Saint Philip North? The executive. No, Excel, but but no one has won the nomination for Saint Philip There's no North. nomination. The selection. Sorry, so the selection right? is not the candidate. No, the, we haven't completed our process. But but as far as I know, it was only Saint Ali and. Um, Michael Asher at this point. Samuel has correct. declared that he has, has, declared he has, yeah, he no, has given up it. and he's finished that and is, it's Michael Ashley. But that's not correct because there were other persons. You were having... Yeah, there were other persons. See, this, this is why you are dealing with conjecture, all right? What I have to say is that our process has three stages and it is very possible to be knocked out at any moment. But all the selections. So all therefore... Is no, no. So therefore... We don't make announcements mm -hmm. until the process has been exhausted for each constituency. The people, the people about the us reason exhausted being, being, the reason being, no, the people, the ones who are completing, the people in the constituency know because they're out there so working. So Ryan Walters? Okay, they're out there working. I am not here to make, remember I started by saying, I know when you say no, I'm so. not answering that question, but here we are. When we are ready, when we are ready, the media, we, the are ready we will make our public announcement in relation to our field yes, of Barbados. candidates. But just like how so the Barbados Labour Party has certain persons walking around, let's say, St. George North, oh, okay, boy. and y'all aren't making any public statement about it, okay, for <laughs> certain reasons. We have who's that walking around in St. George North? I want here. Jeremy you Beckford. Can't, you can't Jeremy go Beckford. And knock on people's doors and expect to be anonymous. Let's just be clear on that. You want Canada? Okay? Yeah, you know. <laughs> 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 Right. So on the on the COVID, uh, Boris, I know that you, yes, we are discussing discussing the whole COVID and the reopening. But again, you're here with politicians. Um, you can only expect some political comments um, towards it. But we really want to thank you for the viewership. We're up in up, up over 100. 150. 150. 50. 50. Um, my, my, which is the my, my, highest. Like you you, 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 you cross talking me, son. I just thank you the people of Barbados for thing. Give me a minute. But who uh, said we in the bees does elect? <laughs> not select. Well, right. You and the bees have issues as well. I just named a few that popped into my head. Right. The St. James North one being for me the most acute mm -hmm. because of what it degenerated to. Okay, so you or, mustn't spread right. the rumor and uh, the smoke and mirror mm -hmm. as Paul calls it uh -huh. to suggest that the Barbados oh. Labour Party's process is above board. Or, or, also, I think the entire country is aware of the busloads that arrive at your meeting. Oh, so Corey, all right, all right, hold on, uh, hold on. Hold on. I don't, I don't, listen, no, before you cross me, let me address back the people. Address, Corey, address. well, you're making it sure not easy to stop on COVID. <laughs> and you're making it sure not easy to stop on COVID. Listen, I want to say something to Corey. Uh, Corey, yourself and Corey are two men I admire in this country. <laughs> mm -hmm. As far as I'm concerned, on, on Heroes Day for Barbados, I call Corey, I said, Corey, Today you're my hero, right? Because the amount of people that he fed during that time, um, and, and yourself, you do this on a, on a daily basis. And I just mm. want to personally ex um, acknowledge both of you for the tremendous service that you're doing to the Barbadian public. Mm -hmm. um, Corey is my friend, um, and I and I just want to say, Corey, 
keep with the good work, you know. Mm-hmm. But uh, but the, on on another note, in mm-hmm. respect to to this whole COVID thing, right? Yeah, we are at a different. We are at a new dispensation. We are beginning to open the gate. Okay, mm-hmm. and we have to be very very conscious and aware as to what is happening around us. They have to make sure if we know that that Florida is having tremendously high cases, yes. and London and, and other places, it is only wise if we're protecting Barbadians to make sure that we make sure that the grannies and the little kids and so on are protected. It's not only about the dollars. We need foreign exchange, you know. Don't get me wrong. We need. We have one point something billion dollars in foreign reserves that we borrowed. Okay. Are you almost, prepared? Hold okay, on. Almost, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Are you prepared? That we borrowed. Paul. Yeah, we, we borrowed it. We know we that. Borrowed. Borrowed. A lot of money yeah. we borrowed. Paul, you said you were a pharmacist. At least our enforcer. You, you, you said you were a pharmacist, right? I am. Good. You're a lawyer, right? I am. Good. The reason why I asked the two of you, your profession, is because you're a lawyer. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right? Verla is a lawyer. Paul is a pharmacist. So they both work right now. There are thousands no, of people. actually. I, I think there is this misconception, but let me explain. No, I don't know why. What do you want to shut the court doors? What, 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 what is your question? All right, what? during COVID, yeah. well, shut well, and she bolted. Well, 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 What's your and question? Well, 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 Berla, mm-hmm. during COVID, even if the court doors shut, mm-hmm. you could still do work and be paid. No, Zoom lines. You had to Zoom no, conferences, so on. But, but what, you, you don't get paid for a conference. Sorry, hold on. No, let me answer you because I don't have time. No, no, no. What's the question? The that, insurance me... companies were closed. Yeah, but what's the question? So you couldn't what's, what's do, the, the banks were closed. Are so you, you couldn't even do the solicitor type yeah. work. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. There, there are many, Verna, What's your question? Me what's the there question? are many different types of lawyers. Yes. Right? What's the question? Though? So different what's lawyers deal with different question. things. And I, you, you were, you I were, was shut down. You are an attorney at law. You claim you were shut down. I think I think otherwise. Paul is a pharmacist. He was definitely open. So he was making money. There are people who were in hotels, restaurants, um, even some person in supermarkets. Um, so you were making money because you were a financer? No, wrote me. Uh, <laughs> I worry, you, you were a boy, boy else. Right? No, oh, I saw you. Mm-hmm. But what I'm saying is... If well, you're you're asking a question you're yes, making the statement? I'm making the statement. I'm asking <laughs> okay. a question. Okay. The mm-hmm. National Insurance Department, um, they said, I think, that they, they are, they are signing no checks around 41,000 people. 41,000 people. Yeah. Right. Yes. Mm-hmm. So we have a country of 270,000 people. Yeah. Usually the workforce is 106,000. Right, and now we got forty-one thousand people unemployed. Over thirty yes. percent. Over thirty mm-hmm. percent. Yes. Now we understand the argument that yes, we have to look at the health precautions, and I, I am fully on board with that. I will never ever fight the science, but you also have to look at the economy. And believe it or not, right? The, when you shut down Barbados, as the both of you are advocating right now. No, 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 no. I haven't spoken to it yet. There are people I in Barbados. I have not said a word about it yet. Landlords are putting out people. <laughs> Sir, they're I did not say that. But you, you, you can't make that assumption because they didn't speak to it. They didn't. They didn't. I said if... So that was to ask There's a difference in what you said and what I just said. I said if... I didn't say shut Barbados down. I said if we are going to open the country, we need to do it responsibly. Right. But the government is doing it responsibly. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, Jeremy, you cannot be doing it responsibly if so you're going to you open the country. Seven to, get, tell people to test 72 hours. Yeah. You're going to ignore quarantining and ignore isolation. All right, Paul. Paul I don't think they're right, ignoring Paul, it. No, they're not ignoring it. I don't right. think they're ignoring it. Paul, you may, you may call it. They also, they also mentioned that the persons awaiting the results would also be quarantined inside hotels. Mm, uh, um, Paul, you mentioned about They can't leave the airport before they quarantine. Paul, you mentioned two weeks. Paul, you mentioned two weeks. That's your first solution. Yes, that's what what, everybody else in the world is doing. What is your next solution? My next solution is after they have been enjoying Barbados for two weeks in their hotel, or whatever, enjoying the beach, uh, sorry, enjoying their their rooms and the, the hotel property and so on, the reality is that they can spend money, they can buy, have breakfast, they can bring, do dinner and, and that kind of stuff. And then after two weeks, they can enjoy the beautiful um, f- COVID-free Barbados. But Paul, that's 30 days hard. That's 30 days hard. No, no, hold on, no, no. But Some I'm saying you got you, two weeks money? What I'm saying to you, right, uh-huh. is that you remember that the focal point mm-hmm. of reopening the economy is what? I don't know. No, what's when you don't think of it? What is the purpose of money? To, to, to get yes, foreign reserves, reserves. reserves. It's not only about foreign reserves. No, it is about employment. No, no, no. It is about ensuring that the social structure of Barbados does not get integrated. Yes, that's 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 yes. yes, but I'm saying to you that How we need to buy. People need to buy food. People need to buy here. Everything we buy from Barbados use foreign reserves. Right, right. We need foreign reserves, and the point is this: 
that yes, we need to make for, for, an, for an exchange. We also need to have the multiplier effect. So this $120 million, million sorry, $185 million that they're using the boss program for Which is, is the supposed, program, it's supposed to stimulate it's supposed to stimulate the economy yes. anybody and i don't really have any problem with that my issue with the whole raising of the money using balls and, and this is a concern i have in barbados who are, are, are the small medium and large size contractors going to have even spread of access to that 185 million dollars but, but because that, we, what know, we have though. to what it has to do we with government have, we see what happens in barbados a lot mm. of rich fat cats in barbados are getting all of the business and a lot of the poor contractors are being left out. But Paul, Paul, wait, wait, wait. As a matter of fact, they're about to change the law. They just, the law. they just change the law. Contract. They just change the law. They just change the law. They just they just change the law. They just change the law to stop small contractors from making adjustments to homes and so on. Mm -hmm. And that is going to have a deleterious effect on this country. All right, let me ask a question. Let me ask a question. I don't need to have a on the yeah, I can let you be in, but I want to ask Paul something because Paul said something that was that has to be corrected in the sense, sense of it. When con contractors, um, let, let, let's use quote unquote higher project, these big contractors are the ones bringing the investment to the country. Definitely. So we we can't go blaming so the government, but here's what. But, no, but at the same time, when we say <laughs> small contractors getting a portion of it, that all depends on who the investors hire. Because don't forget. You, the small contractors that do not have the capability to go and do a big job like they hired. So, but the big contractors now are the ones that has to be able to pay up um, subcontract. So we can't hold on. So we can't say the government, like if the government, yes, the government can probably pass some policy or talk to them in the ear and say, listen, make sure the small contractors survive. And I've seen, I've seen small contractors survive on big projects. I've seen a lot of small Something contractors in the, in the schools, in the schools. <laughs> and so there are ways of making money. So we can't blame the government because no, the schools, the big schools company, never get fixed on time. So that's a different yeah, thing. Oh, no. but, but hold on. But no school, not even where the previous administration schools were even fixed. Listen, so no, me, I say our school boards. I can tell you that listen, for a fact. That, that is a whether, fact. Look at the Lord's whether under the Democratic Lord's Labour Party, listen. Whether that is a fact. Whether under the Auditorium, whether under the Democratic Labour Party, or the Barbados Labour Party, whether under the Democratic Labour Party or the Barbados Labour Party, whether under the Labour Party or the Barbados Labour Party, whether under the Democratic Labour Party or the Barbados Labour Party, listen. Whether under the Democratic Labour Party or the Barbados Labour Party, we've always have problems with schools opening late. So when we blame the party now, then it doesn't matter which party it was. But so when we the people party. correct that. The, yeah. pro, the People's Party for Democracy and Development will correct that. Well, they will never correct it because it's if a I, problem or whatever. No, it is called management. I want to go, go back to the Gentleman. COVID issue. Gentlemen. Because, 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 because I also want to also mention your, your uh, what you would. This is what I've been trying to, to for the bear opening. on in relation to the COVID protocols. I share the view that 72 hours is too long. If it were 72 hours and you stay home, please, mm -hmm. I could see with 72 hours. But 72 hours is too long. I believe it is a give. We still to the, it should be a shorter time period. I what do you mean? On the testing or the coming? 48 hours no, prior. You should be to get tested. Because right. just that. Right before coming. If you get tested in 72 hours, you can leave, you leave you home. Could, and you leave right. home. Oh, right, right, right. So, no. okay. right. And then the issue so, on Berla also. Hold on, Berla. Wait, wait, hold on. Then the issue is, um, it, it isn't that... You, you, one group, one group of persons that are tested are going on one flight. The other group that ain't tested is going on one flight. All the persons are going on the same flight. So it's, it's a matter of fact. Whereas the person that are tested or are negative on the flight could probably Agreed. contract it for someone Agreed. that Agreed. isn't tested. And that is the second point the that country. I'm coming to. You should, you should really have consistency. Yes. If it is that you want them to be tested before they get on the plane, mm -hmm. then that is your policy. If it is that when you land in my country and you're under my control, I'm testing you because you are on my soil, that is your policy. But to have options is actually to water down the precaution in my estimation. Secondly, I think that we don't have to recreate the wheel. Other countries, I, I keep watching New Zealand. I recognize that they have other industries besides tourism. And I watch 
What is the size of what the universe? What is going on? It, it isn't <laughs> even a size issue. It is about revenue mm -hmm. streams because that is why we have to give so much at the table in relation to tourism because we don't have a fallback option. Okay, and no, in a crisis is when you should be developing those small fallback options. But we're speaking now about the protocol, so I'm going to focus in on those. Okay, all right? we know beyond the shadow of a doubt the hot spots around the world. Okay, and therefore we should have the courage. I can't say the courage of our convictions because I don't know what the government is convicted on, but we should have the courage to say, look, it can't be New York right now. Mm -hmm. And we, we can say that because even coming on a private jet, COVID still landed here from New York. Okay? She clearly here on that. Know no, we no, she know, cleared the air on that. No, 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 she didn't. We know she, she spoke she on it, but she did not she clear the air. On that. She, she violated spoke the protocol. On it. But and she admitted she, it at, at three minutes and seventy seconds of the last nation interview. There Check are two out. facts. There are <laughs> no, two undisputed facts. One okay. is she came from New York, mm -hmm. and the second is she had COVID. Two undisputed she did not know she facts. Had COVID. I didn't say she knew. I am not even dealing with knowledge because we see the knowledge issue today in relation to the student who left Barbados, took less than a one hour flight and landed in Trinidad and was tested positive. So it is not even a knowledge issue. Mm -hmm. The protocols are to deal with that knowledge issue in relation to who comes here. And that is why I'm saying that you should have one or the other. Either test before you get on the plane yes. and produce your certificate, or the minute you land in my country, I am testing you. You should have one or the other. From the time you give options, you present the scenario that you give, mm -hmm. and that is that you're on a plane, you know you're good, because yeah. you did what you were supposed to do. But the person next to you hasn't tested yet and might not be good. So we, we have that mix and we shouldn't have the mix. But when we look at the other countries, and I'm, and I'm not speaking about their revenue streams, I'm speaking about their strategy. They are isolating and identifying countries that have this under control mm -hmm. to a certain extent and saying, we won't play with you. But what are all of them okay. doing? What are all, right. all of those same countries doing, brother? They, they still have their protocols. They have their, their protocols their in place. They in have place. their quarantines in place. But, Everyone. Israel, but USA, even if UK, we, you if really want to call USA this mix? If you go to the USA right now and land, you will have to spend two weeks in quarantine. And and why, why is in nobody getting this? Year? It doesn't matter where you enter. Is this in every yes, single in state? Yes, in every single state. Once you are entering the borders, well, the not, sovereign exactly, borders, every state, you only got land in these, in particular airports. Airport. 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 it's only New York, man. Right. 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 Look, go, don't don't take my word for it. Go to the U.S. Federal website calls. and mm -hmm. see. You will see. Well, you cannot go anywhere unless you are. Well, the your, your, your point I'm making though is that there are other countries that have a handle on it. I'm not just speaking about zero cases. I'm speaking about the management of cases and so you don't think the, some of these well in Barbados? this is not what Prime we're Minister talking Mali about this is not what we're she know. spent half of it on sick leave i don't she understand i'm trying to talk to country is run by a group of people. I'm, I'm not about right? that you, 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 what i am about right I'm, now are the protocols going forward and we have know, to be very mindful mm -hmm. and when we Sick when we facts. have that balancing act of our economy and our society we have to be clear in our minds that it may not be equally weighted but if it has to be sufficiently weighted on one side more than the other yeah. that it has to be on the side of the society because at the end of the day Sorry. you open up and you bring your economic activities Destroys our health. Then you have actually made a And that is why I'm thinking about countries that have managed better. I'm really have to say it, but I disagree with you. That we can't, we, that we can't apply this theory to the region because of the demise of the act. But 
outside of that, we would have to know, we have other ports of entry outside of Miami, New York, and London, mm -hmm. that for the time being, even if we open to them later on, but for the time being, they're being hot spots <coughs> in this pandemic that we should not be treating to them at this point. I, I'm, and a good good point, brother. So, I'm going to say it there, Jeremy. Go ahead, Paul. Paul, 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 um, we said that the early attorney, attorney general said that we are going to roll back the curfew. Must be loaded. That we are going to roll back the curfew, but we are going to still extend the state of emergency. Now, what is the state of emergency? The Prime Minister has immense powers. So I want to know what are both your thoughts on the fact that we are still under the state of emergency and what justifies that fact. Mm -hmm. Well, what, what, one of the things that we have to be very careful, well, in the first place, the law really did not have to be changed from what it was before. It did, there was no need to go and get and, and put the powers belonging to the cabinet into the hands of a single prime minister. There was no need for that. That was done, but it wasn't necessary because at the end of the day, the chief medical officer has mm -hmm. significant powers under a state of emergency in respect to it's things like this and health. Right, you're right, right. No. right. Um, um, okay. the, the, so, okay. We're I'm sorry, ask I'm sorry, Michael. Right. Don't give us that. We're going to ask the question again. Go, yeah. go ahead, go ahead. Right. Back. The question was asked about the legislation that was passed yeah. okay. to manage the COVID situation, mm -hmm. which gave the Prime Minister, Prime Minister immense powers to manage the, the pandemic, which, in my opinion, renders the cabinet useless. Yes. So, you ask the panelists what are their thoughts on the legislation, given the fact that the Attorney General recently announced that we're going to roll back the curfew, but extend the state of emergency, and what justifies that fact? Right. right. Well, I, I, and I, I started by responding by saying that there was really no need to make any amendments to the law in its current state. Right? Um, I have an issue with the way how the Attorney General and the Prime Minister are fiddling with the Constitution of Barbados going to section 49 and, and, and really nearly just making changes whether senators or under this this type of thing we have to be very careful when you are changing constitution and i'm not a lawyer but um but when you're making constitution changes like this you have to look at the take it to its furthest logical end and and, and deter ask yourself how will it affect generations of barbados in, 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 a, in a short while okay right and, and, and this is something that the, this particular uh, the the law has been very untidy it has been, it's been messy a lot of um and a lot of poor law has been coming out of the attorney general's office but back to your question the reality is that we we need to make sure that this to remember that this is a democracy and that the the this type of state of emergency should not be used to pass under the dead of night a lot of laws this law that stops um contractors and people from doing architectural drawings and from mashing up small contractors is pa is being passed right now for what reason i don't know you have to pay a tax is that the if you are in the, in the parliament it's, yeah. finished. it's finished it's finished mm. you have to pay a tax if you are going to stay in your house while it's being renovated how many people in barbers are aware that you have to pay a tax if you plan to stay or get a certificate from that's somebody to, to stay but that's what your government just did it is madness but the point is this this is what is happening we, we're doing the, all these amend, uh, constitutional amendments and this kind of thing and i'm saying that that's not the purpose of a state of emergency right we have to be re responsible barbadians we have to make sure that we're protecting our our national our, our but that sovereignty was state of emergency or that was done on the town and country planning amendment no no the, the point is that this is being done at this time where a lot of people are not aware of these very a lot of things are happening in Barbados that should never happen look the deputy commissioner of police that does not that was not appointed mm -hmm. that did not have a post that that did that was not in law he, the the level of the attorney general is on the, sorry the level was above what the prime minister could authorize okay. and you know what they said is the first lie i ever heard told by somebody but you're not gonna say anything that's that, the first that they, lie you ever heard the first lie i ever heard by told by somebody was that they, they had the authority to change to, 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 to appoint a deputy commissioner of police without going through the but Paul, I heard you made, I already made a comment out. You're saying in one first, breath that sorry, crime, like, crime going up 
yet when the government yet no the anything. government is trying to take the lo take the load off the deputy where no, one could be one could be one could be human resources one could be administrative let me ask you a question you need to have your facts straight bring more police there you need to have your no. facts okay. straight. But before I, I deal with you on that, let mm. me deal with the actual question as to why the state of emergency would continue okay. past the, the so we'll go back lockdown. To Parliament. It goes back to what Paul said earlier, and that is that we're not done with COVID. Perfect. We've just moved into a different phase. Which is a good and phase. And a very tricky phase we're moving into yes. where we are having commercial traffic yeah. that we have no control over nor have we put the, the provisions sufficiently in place in my view to have the control over them and if it is that a whole plane load comes in mm -hmm. and tests positive we are right back where we were in March we may even be a little further back than that. Oh. So because we would we have not in this entire time had numbers to press our health service mm. okay. in any significant way. We haven't had the numbers. But it could happen with a plane load. I mean Jamaica's example mm -hmm. made them sit up and think what you now have to go through with Jamaica in turn, it, it, you probably need to dedicate a day just to go through their system, yeah. right down to having an app that you must have on your phone and they'll get you if you turn it off. They, they let you know that. Mm -hmm. um, if it is that we have a sudden increase in numbers, okay. our ordinary legislation is not designed to deal with that if you think about how the covid directives could come out with frequency yes that is not i mean let's not speak about the quality of the drafting because that's a whole other argument <laughs> but let's just deal with what they were intending to do we had to put things in place at short notice yeah our system is not designed for that green paper white paper lay on the table first reading second reading our process is not designed for that but we have this emergency legislation mm -hmm. which allows us in a time of crisis such as this yeah. to to short circuit the system so i have no difficulty with keeping the state of emergency to August because we we're still in a wait and see period. Mm -hmm. so I have no difficulty. Still in the pandemic. That. We're yeah. still in it. Yes. We're still, still in it. Up. We mm -hmm. can't pretend that we aren't in it. Mm -hmm. I, I have to reference today's result again because that tells us that somewhere in Barbados it exists and we have no to take careful note of what the results keep saying. We keep saying, oh, we had 97 cases. But what they always report is that we had 97 known cases. And all of a sudden, that word known is the critical element. That's right. Because that student, mm -hmm. after a 45 to 50 minute flight, mm -hmm. is positive, having left these shores. But you raise a lot of the, people are asymptomatic. And this is the point, around, this is the point that I am making. This is the point that I am making. But is the point that is, also, the point, is your point also meaning that the government isn't doing anything to find those persons? Because government can't find no. those people. That's because no, I believe that's that not they what are. I am that's what I'm asking. Okay. No, I don't I, think they're looking for them either. But I, I want to know. No, no, no. What they're testing, no, no, no. What they're testing, right? But they're looking for persons in a strategic way. They're yeah. not just grabbing people off the street. It is if you right, come in and you have, if you come in and you have tested positive they will take a full history from you what supermarket did you go to if you went to any did you go to work Contact tracing. can i please have the names of those persons and we saw the effectiveness of that strategy with the national assistance board take everybody even though it was just the office staff 
put the office staff in quarantine, but test everybody. I have no difficulty with that. I don't think they're expected to walk the street and every tenth person, you know, yeah. test. I, I will go, step, I will go step further. Okay. I will go. Colin actually said yeah. here just mm -hmm. now that 72% of persons are asymptomatic. I, All right. But where did they get from? access? Where does it come from? Yeah. You can't just put it right. let, let me just say, let me say something. Statistics without, without, without reference. Yeah, yeah. Lee, um, if you can say something. something. Can you also add in here that? You said um, the planes will not be flying full also. That's not speculation. That's, 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 that's no, 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 actually, the uh, yeah. American Airlines uh, full. has said they yeah. are not giving up any seats. You see, they said that. I that's think that's we came up full the other day too from Yes, airport, right? American they Airlines is not giving up any seats. They are not giving up any seats. That was on CNN today. That was insane. But the so point is this. You can't Verla, make that do you, statement. That is your statement. That's a blanket statement. statement. That's a blanket statement. That's a blanket statement. That is not what is happening. If you were to do tests for, we, we've had, there's something called the antigen and the antibody. Yeah. Right? Yes. You do the antigen test, which is the PCR test. Yeah. Right? Before, um, that's what you do. But if you had persons walking around Barbados, and I'll tell you this, when this thing happened over eight weeks, started over eight weeks ago, we had, I remember when I, I, I remember speaking to the chief medical officer uh, at the per People's oh Party God. for Democracy um, headquarters. And I said to him, I said, um, how many tests do we have? He says, um, Paul, you know what? I can't, I don't have that number right now. <laughs> this is right at the start of COVID. A week later, I asked the same question. I said, I said, well, tell me how many questions, how many tests came on the invoice? He said, I'm not even sure. He, uh, two weeks later, I asked the same question. In the social partnership meeting, I think you were there, Verda, and, and I asked the question many prime ministers, sorry, finish speaking. Madam Prime Minister, no, is not political. Tell me, how many tests do we have in the country? And she looked across and somebody said, we have a hundred tests, right? A hundred tests? One hundred tests, right? That's why you, can, you came late. But you the Prime Minister kept best in the country. No, 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 no. I want to tell a story. How much we had on the day? I want to tell a story because tests, the reality... Some things we had tests, but they have swabs. Right. Well, no, that was the, no, that was the other part. I, I, going forward. So we had... Uh, no fault to our weeks. No, no, no. Two weeks later, I asked how many tests... I, I went to the, the, the press, and I said the PDP is demanding that we test Barbadians, we test the frontline workers, we test persons that are, uh, that are up front. And I, mean, I was told we don't have enough tests. Anyway, suddenly 22,000 tests came, and I applauded. I said, very good. Yes. But then we didn't have swabs. Yes. Now, the point is this. If we were to do antibody tests in Barbados right now to test to see if uh, after the fact, if persons had COVID, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, we will see exactly what really happened in this country. Because the time when we could not test, I'm sure we missed scores and scores of people. I'm telling you that. But, 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 but I'm asking, was it a that. fault of ours when... They, they were swabs and, and test kits that were so hard to get. No, the, um, you're assuming we got, no, no, they I were mean, not uh, ordered. No, come on. No, 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 no we can't answer oh, that. Oh, the world, they were. Oh, I can't answer that. You can't answer that. Oh, 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 I remember I, nah, I, 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 I can't agree with you. I you. Watch a Unless you tell me you was the body, all of them. 100, 100. 100. I, watched, I watched a story on <laughs> CNN I mean, where there were, um, there were tests that were going, I think, to France. And the American no, government turned up on remember the ground. Remember um, um, Oh, maybe people. But that's not what happened. Our machines as well. Our machines. That's our not machines. Not that's not what happened here. That's not what happened. Yes, our machines were hold, and that was and setting and the paper. Right. Three ventilators were held. No, no, I don't care. Three ventilators. No, three no, three no, ventilators, three ventilators were held. The point is they held our stop. No, no, no. One, two, three. We need not the COVID test. They did not hold. They were coming from WHO. They were coming trying to give. They were. They were trying to give. They were trying to get from. Yeah, we did not get tests. We didn't get. We did get those. Listen. Yeah, but they were hold up. No, what no, 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 no. The ventilators were held up. I not the tests. Listen. The Rihanna gave us ventilators. Yes. They were held I, up I, in I, we saw America. that. But it would be far better for us to say that the government did not order. The government was trained. We cannot say the government is responsible. The government was trained. I asked the question. You're saying, you're saying no tests. That tests were ordered, but not swaps. That's what you're saying. Yes. Are you all factual information for that? No. Yes. Yes. Bring the facts. Because I can get, I can bring it. Because I can bring, Commission I can bring said it. it. Commission when said, he said it. When they were having the conversation, Commission. 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 When they were having the conversation about the Trinidadians who were here, the 33 Sorry, Trinidadians. Yeah. Yes. And Trinidad was insisting that they be tested here. Trinidad sent up the test, but we didn't have the swabs and. We always get our news from someplace other than Barbados. We got that off the 
Trinidad, that was his response to the Trinidadian media mm -hmm. as to why the test hadn't been conducted even though Trinidad had sent up the test. And he said it is because we didn't have any swabs. So we had the test, but we didn't have any swabs and we couldn't but wait, facilitate wait, 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 at that point. But the test and swabs? Wait, I don't know where what the people. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm going to have to say this. I have no difficulty with the humanitarian step towards our Trinidadian and the extension to the world that we did, and the okay. extension to the world, all the people on the cruise liners and stuff. I have did. no difficulty with that in principle, but in execution, <laughs> there were issues, okay? Because when we saw the, the imagery of the crowds in the departure area of the airport, mm -hmm. that was bad optics. Yes. yes. Okay? So, whilst in principle, I agree that we should not leave a person stranded on the cruise ship. We could have handled their exit better so that we did not have precisely what we were telling people not to do, and that is crowding mm -hmm. at the airports. Okay? So, but you're leaving as you business. said, it's, I was about to so the you're, so so you are handle. okay. I mean, they're leaving Barbados, but let's face it, mm -hmm. they're dealing with Barbadians Who have at the masks, airport. Using, um, sanitizer, um, they are dealing all of the with Barbadians at the airport. So you cannot be so laissez faire and blase about it. It could have been handled better. When they were and, and I really the airport, have a difficulty. They, when they were transported, I really the have a difficulty when you can't even concede that one little point. Hold on, okay? hold on. It suggests hold on. to me when that they were you being are just to the airport. Blanket, whatever the government, <laughs> whatever the government <laughs> does, <laughs> all right? And you <laughs> cannot <laughs> see objectives. Hold on, Berta, That's what when they were being transported to the airport, they were transported by police in buses. Where they were socially distanced, they were exited then, from the buses, and then the minute they, and got they were sent the out of Barbados. So, there, there, so <laughs> when there was no, there was no. Um, but was that a fault of the government, or that was a fault of the airline that but they didn't provide it staffing to me? Listen, let me let me put this way. I remember. No, listen, but hold on. Very good. The government is trying. I agree. But we 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 very we rest everything at the government feet in the sense that I remember when we 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 got charged to take care of the homeless, and they put everything in place, and when they came to times to feed the homeless. I made sure there was social distancing. You can't compare yourself with the government. No, no, no. no. You I'm just saying, no, no, what I'm you saying is... You do an amazing job. Right, but we... Right? Yeah, but we... Thank if you. Everybody but, says, me does this, me does this. Everybody's me and me. Right, but no, what right? I'm just saying... But right? if anything goes wrong, uh -huh. right? If anything goes wrong, look and see what happens, right? The ministers are not held to account and then somebody writes up on the white horse and says, oh, I got this. Right? And then it happens, then it happens in water. Oh, I have this. <laughs> Something happens with it. Oh, I got this. But you know, that's not leadership. She's a leader. leader. She's a leader. No, 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 and put your people in place and say, this is where we're going. And have your people performing and giving outputs. Right now, the ministers are not performing and not giving the output outputs. They're working for a salary and they're not giving us anything right now. We're do you think you would do a better job? I, I, I believe humbly, with the help of God, mm -hmm. that if I given the opportunity that we, the PDP, would, would lead this country into, with, with God, growth and greatness. To, to, to greatness. Verla, what about yourself? Do you think you would do a better job as a minister right now? Yes. The, the thing is Not that bringing the, back the, the first members. thing that no, no, I, he didn't ask me about prime minister, you know, he asked me about minister. Yeah, minister. And the first thing that a minister must have is some vision. Okay. And again, I will go to the Arrow Barrel Lecture, okay. where I, I didn't confine myself to any one particular area, but I, I spread my thoughts as best I could in the, in the time frame that I had. But to give an overview of as many portfolios as we could. Which but you would really you want? do have to have, I really don't care. Whichever one it is, I would apply myself. Apply. All but right? but, but, really, but really you're speaking as though um, that in the next election, or if the DLP had to win, that you wouldn't be the Prime Minister, you'll be just a minister. No. You're speaking the like Prime that. Prime Minister has a portfolio, she's the Minister of. 
of finance. Merely finance. 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 Not or whatever she no, selects. No. She is the Minister of he Finance. So finance. when he asks me what portfolio I have, it is with the firm understanding that a Prime Ministership is not a portfolio. Mm. Okay? And he asked me about portfolio. Mm. So if you want to speak to me about had, leadership, had that's a whole... If you had a ministry, of, which will you select? If I, I don't really care. If I were in education, I would be working towards reforming our education system that's in a, in a major way. No, it has not. That's we have it, no. We have too many persons mm -hmm. who sit outside of our education system from very early on in their educational lives because we, the leaders in the country, yeah. pigeonhole math and English as priority subjects in the first instance in their lives yeah. and then move on to the science subjects forgetting that we have a whole lot of persons whose critical interest yeah. is with their hands, with their minds, but not on science. Berlin, with, with developing how, how long, ideas. How, how long did you sit in the upper house of Barbados? The upper house of, upper right. house of parliament? And because you asked that question, I know that you never have. Otherwise, you would know how little <laughs> power a senator has. No, but I am asking for And I purpose. will tell you. Brother, because on your question, because you, you could have objected to and anything I did. Them no. that and I report. did. But as I said, don't mean I will allow a I am very Ver Ver pleased to report up. that I am on record mm -hmm. twice Ver for Ver point. speaking yeah, my Ver mind, Ver mm -hmm. despite it being in def difference mm -hmm. to, to the, the other so persons. My yeah. Position. Parties, position. position. Really question yeah. I believe serious. I am unique in that position. Bradshaw went to. And Caswell Franklin does it every week. To your point, though, Verla, about, about education. To your point about edu 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 education. Policy. How effective uh -huh. was the minister responsible for education for EduTech? How, how successful was EduTech? You re you're reacting to old Hold on, man. hold on, hold on. <laughs> how how <laughs> successful was EduTech? Let me tell you something. You know how I know that EduTech is a failure? I don't because, think it's a failure. Because of COVID. Either. Because of COVID. If EduTech was a success, mm -hmm. we would be able to push the key in the engine and turn that engine on and be, and be teaching our you, kids. You, you, you it's one of the greatest it failures that we've ever had in this country. I disagree with you on that. No, I, but I don't care. This. I'm talking right. facts. He just gave facts. I'll give you facts. It was going to continue. Huh? It continue. So, did, it, did it even start? Yes. Yes, it did start. It did start. That's the problem. It had a Alexandra for secondary schools yes. and Sharon for primary, the primary schools. For primary did it go any further than it that? It did not go I don't know if it did. Let me, hold on. I, I, I watched, years, and a lot of money was no, telling no, you what they did in that 10-year period. That, 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 that job before, that job before I though. I can actually, sure. because it was in that 10-year period mm -hmm. that you can do CBQs in the school environment. I said it was like 20 years ago, somebody saying. That we have even more sixth form schools. You didn't have those options before. And those sixth form schools, I discovered when it came, my daughter's turn to choose, even though she chose neither one of them. Each school actually has a focus. Okay. So it is not that you are giving more spaces to do precisely the same thing, but that you were given wider options as to what you could do at the six. I thought I went six far, but somebody told me where I put this. But the fact of the matter is, is that, that the hilarious. education offerings mm -hmm. expanded. Mm. Yeah. I hold the view, though, that until we reach the stage where we are treating the technical subjects with the same reverence yes. that we treat the traditional subjects, we have not yet made that march towards revolutionary okay. education. All right, so just let me we, we right. get, get, get keep our question, right. then we're just gonna bring um, it home together and wrap up as some statements. <laughs> what, what do you guys think about the impassing as Barbados being the chair can come with the issue going on in Guyana? We right? know more the chair though, just saying. Well, we're not we pass it on. We but we were the chair last week. We are up that. until midnight. And Tonight? Yeah, right, some very so the first week. Right. And specifically the, the video that the Prime Minister issued to the people of Guyana specifically, what are your opinions on what was said? I don't know if you watched the video, but what are your opinions on what was said? And what are your opinions on the reactions of the Guyanese people given that you have the internet and you would have followed the issue? Paul? Okay. I, I don't really want to comment, comment on that. Okay. okay. Um, I, because there's a reason why I don't want to comment on that. I, I think um, 
we have to understand the behaviors and, 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 and call good behavior good okay. and bad behavior bad. Okay. Right? The issue in Guyana started with, a, with some very creative vote counting and so on. And one thing led to another, which led to another, which led to another, right? That's a whole convoluted mess. Yeah. And even after the recount, the acceptance of, of, of spoiled votes, mm. right? Yeah. Whether to accept, the, uh, sorry, um, bogus votes or not accept votes, right, right, was right. another thing. I mean, to me, it was a big bungled mess, okay. right? Still and is. from the beginning, somebody should have had a hard That's line, right? That's and eliminate if the, if the votes are spoiled, recount. Get, get them out. Get, get, I would get do a recount. Right? I, I, I would do an entire recount. Right? But the other peripherals associated with Guyana, and uh, who who knows who and who leaning and who's giving favor, there's a whole lot of things there that will come out in due course. Okay. Right? Want to come and and, um, and I know that the, the yeah. Granger has done a very good job in terms of moving Guyana forward. Right. Um, he's, he's, Guyana was the, the day after the election, the, the place was cleaned up. Right? So the point is that it's a it's, it's a big it's, it's one big thing. Right? But my my concern is that right now Barbados is it, it, we are in a very dark, horrible state in respect to COVID, and I am really more focused about us making sure that we stabilize. To get people someone, someone employed. Said here that you just said yeah. you didn't want to come in. <laughs> and, and the but thing is, up, bro. And the thing is when he said, I don't want to comment, mm -hmm. I was 100% in his yeah. corner. Yeah. And I have to answer this one, not politically, but as a lawyer. Okay. Remembering that Miss Motley considers herself one, she holds herself out to be one, and she very much well, is, not she is one. one. She is a lawyer. QC. No, and she, that, I was just no, going to say, no, and no. she holds the designation QC. Okay, yes, so so does Michael Ashley. There are persons um, who I know which law school he went to, but anyhow, outside of that, there are. I would like to. I would like to know what's going on. Where he issues, he ran it for? There are issues Ooh. that I, I don't believe the expression mm -hmm. is a foreign one. Mm -hmm. That when sub judice, that is, they are under the thumb of the court. Okay, you are not to make comment on, which is why I said when Paul said he was not making a comment, I was 100% in his corner. He went off and made significant statements that if you ask the other side of the political <laughs> persuasion in Guyana, you will hear a completely, completely different story. Yes, yes. And this is the reason why you don't pick sides at this stage. Yeah. It is presently before the CCJ. At the point in time when that comment was made by the CARICOM chair. At that time, the matter was before the Court of Appeal of Guyana, and the first it, so issue no. was whether or not the CCJ had jurisdiction, right. and they had to yet make that determination. Well, yeah. It is therefore previous and unfortunate that you would make statements on outcome when the court is Ooh. to make that statement on, on outcome. Mm -hmm. If it is that the CCJ had heard that, as we call it in law, point eliminate, that preliminary issue as to whether they even could get involved based on how the law. Guyanese constitution mm -hmm. is written. Mm -hmm. If it is that they had decided we can't get involved, okay. then she would be within her rights to make a statement as Carrie Calm chair. But they haven't yet even heard the argument. The matter was before them. Okay. Mm. And it was a previous statement on her part. It ought not to have been made. They haven't made a decision yet. Mm. So I can't call it left, right, or center because at the end of the day, in its original jurisdiction, the CCJ is going to make a call okay. one way or yet the other, and we have to live with it. Fair okay, enough. we can critique it at that point. We can absolutely critique the judgment. But we are not to make statements that look like you're trying to color it in a particular way. And that is why the lawyers made the statements that they did in their opening remarks before the CCJ and why the judges responded in the way that they did because okay. the statement ought not to have been made at that point in time okay fair enough right um 
So guys, you know, we've had a very fruitful discussion. Um, we've had it on <laughs> COVID, <laughs> off and on. <laughs> but again, when you have politicians, um, you want to be politicians. <laughs> I, I do not want to be a politician. Right? Um, I just want to be a politician. <laughs> 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 right so uh you know comments conversation do but i think that we held it very good i think the conversation was good and i always tell the listeners uh the viewers rather because they're not radio that the whole idea is for us to have discussion yes they get past it again he did sometimes it seemed like you're cross talking but that is a discussion and that is what we like and that is what brings out what we need to bring out as it relates to hearing from persons and to understand that we are not script here <laughs> There's no button that pauses for two minutes or what we say, what we should not say. We're going to take a lot of And That's um, right. It's actually harder as I've like, um, but yes. A question that wasn't asked, though. Um, the person that I like, who they want to ask it to, they just said Kimura. Mm. I can only assume, or well, you don't want to assume. It's Stuart. Um, but they asked, yeah, there are two people. Oh, I said okay. that. Um, they asked which ministry uh, would you, as a minister, which ministry would you like to, to obviously uh, manage the portfolio? It? So I guess I'll put the question to both of you. But I'm sure you go for me. It. No, <laughs> no, you could go. I think actually, the question is posed to you. Um, yeah, so so you could go first. Well, based on my, I would say, academic experience, I think that you would do a great job in the Ministry of Finance, Economic Affairs. Um, particularly, I see. They got question number. <coughs> As minister of finance, yeah. Yeah. so where you see our uh, minister of finance? I'm listening. I'm listening. So, right. um, having a conversation on plans on what we we'll do would be a whole another. Uh, that is another yeah. super yeah. All right, Kimara now, Kimara, Kimara, Yeah. What 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 ministry would would you take? I'm a social guy. Bad people say, "If I want the elder." And we're not asking that question too. I don't you want to be, I don't want to be a You said you're not a politician. No. <laughs> Listen, I, 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 you don't even know, know Jeremy. You don't even know, he don't know, know who he is. <laughs> Listen, if I, if I were to be a minister of government, there is only one, there are only one ministry I would want. What is that? I would want the Ministry of Home Affairs and National Security. Well, it's not are National Security. Yes. Don't ask me why. Please. Uh, please. Uh, I'll say I'll say this though. I mean, the reality. Well, first minister is not minister. No, right? split. Okay. The, the, the critical right. thing well, is it, defense. It's, uh, yeah, the critical it's thing really is being able to. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have to be willing to serve the people of Barbados wherever you are placed, right? And um, whoever your leader is, whether it is Joseph Anthony, Bishop oh, Anthony, health for PDP, yes. uh, leading the country, or or, or whoever else is um, or he has designated. The fact of the matter is that we are serious about serving people. Yes. And raising the level of Barbados. When when water rises, all ships rise. Yes. And at this stage, with COVID, at the stage we are at, we we are we, everybody has to roll their their sleeves up, all right? And put put in at least another twenty or thirty percent in your job, and you would see the produ- productivity levels of this country rise in a level that we've never seen before. Okay. It is really all hands on deck. I will not. I I, I will not tell you this. The, 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 this is one of the toughest seasons of a government that that you could want to run on the COVID. Right? You know, Ms. Molly made a statement that leadership is a lonely place. It is not a lonely place. Leadership is not lonely. If you, Lon- if you, you, you are supposed to be interdependent. <laughs> my, my, that's, that, 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 leadership is not a lonely place. Good leaders are interdependent, right? And they know how to work a team. This is what I'm saying to you. You cannot just have a lone ranger. When you have a team and you hire a team, mm-hmm. you get your team working. You get your team responsible. You give them deadlines and and, and um yeah but and, i think and, i and understand so, what the prime right? minister is coming no 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 it's, it's not a lonely like place it's not a lonely place huh? Le- leadership is not a lonely no, place. Life. leadership is influence can right? i tell you live and it's not yeah it's, it's not a lonely yeah, place yeah but we like no we like right. she but, does check yeah. she's in it yeah um <laughs> but yeah but yeah we're wrapping up so um the money which which what small business and entrepreneurship <laughs> um, but <laughs> yeah, but I, yeah, the floor. <laughs> but again, um, the show is always 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 about the two persons that are here and not about us. We just keep it. Um, as the young people say, "Jiggy in a minute, in, in the midst of it." Um, but you know, we 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 saw the viewership spike to uh, as high as. Uh, 
Well, but 130, 120, 120, 120 is you know, four in viewership. So we, we copy and we know that these people bunk it on and off. So we really want to thank each and every one of you for making the show possible. We will continue continuously bring in persons that are of interest that we can hear. Um, again, we we just young people bringing the show, bringing the show as it is. Um, we don't see political colors here. We are just seeing the conversation. We are seeing what we need to get out. We're discussing. We're having. We're debriefing. Um, so you know, we just want to thank each and every one of you. We want to thank you from the bottom of our for viewing, for keeping us, for sharing. We see the comments. I think almost over two hundred. Um, so the show is growing, and we you can grow with vote viewers. Yeah. Um, so we will definitely have more and more interesting guests. We want you to stay tuned next week, Tuesday, again, 6 o'clock, between 6 o'clock, 6.30, depending yeah. on technical difficulty. <laughs> I, I, I want that Jermaine is always early. Or I am always early. Um, I just want to add for next week, Tuesday, we're looking to have two special guests. Well, mm. they, they will be representing two of the, uh, the more rather youth arm of two well, parties. Right. I will not say uh, which two parties are yeah. yet. Um, it'll be three parties. It's, it's three. It's three. three. Oh, sorry, yeah. It's, it's three. three. But four. But anyway, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. they're here. They'll be here. Three. Uh, we will, we will uh, obviously um, share that with you in a poster um, very soon. Mm -hmm. um, I also want to add um, for tomorrow, tomorrow night, uh, the men's empowerment that we're going to have a discussion via Facebook and also on Zoom. Mm -hmm. The topic is Are toxic mothers as bad or worse? than absent fathers. So you can look out for that. Other nasty topic, boy. Yeah. I, uh, I wanted to say thank you for having the PDP on. Mm -hmm. um, we have speakers in every area, in every ministry that we consider, so feel free to invite us back, you know? Yeah. Huh? We, we, we have all, every every area. Do you have 29 speakers, sir? I don't need to. I just asked it. I would love to see 29. Can't can't make so we, we, are, we are better. The cabinet is yeah. bloated, and they bloat yours too. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah but you need any topic. But you know, the cabinet, yeah, you yeah. have to bring candidates. You need to bring candidates. I want to say something. As we end off. As we end off, I often hear the Dems criticize now and say that Gabby is bloated. Right? It is. If as bloated as it may be, it's can me, you it's not me. say can you say that this cabinet of twenty six well twenty eight persons is not working? Yes. Yes. You ask a stupid question. I don't understand. No, that's what I said. No, 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 you do you no, want me to listen. continue? No, please. I, because I did, I did three out of four. You started pointing out to you. No, 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 no. I can go down a few more. We will give this. We, I would prefer, I would like it when Miss Pisa have her 29. We had 17 that were that were you know, you know, I will let your 29 candidates and come and speak. The PDP is not going to have 29. We will have a, a reasonable size. You don't need more than 18. 18. I would, not, I would not like the DLP to be like a certain party that got one member, a one leader. I'm walking, both say them is a party. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. So you don't want me to support you? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where are you running this election? We want to know that. Where are you running next election? You will know. As I said. I can speculate. You said that last time you were here. I heard say, Lucy, I'm going with what people say. You're going to money? Pardon? You're going to keep your money money? Somebody has Listen, right? I can let you know, right? I can Listen, let you know. I can let which you know. union member is running in St. George, St. George North? You got something. I can let you know, right? When, when it was first mentioned that you, that you, were, you were a guest on, on the, the show. show. Yeah. I, 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 right? I, I, I told the others that I had promised the yeah, audience. That's wrong. That's not good. That we will bring back Mr. Pisa mm -hmm. when she announced that she was running in St. George North. Yeah. 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 The constituents know who are the persons that will be running. So, what, so is like a is like a two four that you're saying one breath that the constituents know, mm -hmm. but then because, you don't want the country because, to know. Because it is what I said earlier in relation to St. George North. You cannot be out there knocking on people's doors. So what about St. Philip? What about St. Philip? Well, I just yeah. want you to know. I what about I have a property in St. Lucie. So, so if you are. If, if you are you're knocking, he knows. If you are running in St. Lucie, you have to canvas me for my support. He ain't gonna give it. You have a property, but not a house. My house. <laughs> no. Do like some, do like some religion. I mark that house. I'm so bad. Listen, my let me tell you, I will very readily entertain you. My canvassing style has been to not miss a house. You should have missed. I, I tell you, you won't come back and walk I can tell you, we you go vote for she the Miss that house. <laughs> If not, you will miss all the rest of the houses. I'm Otherwise telling you. I would never canvas. Not to, <laughs> <laughs> not to canvas. I'm right. running again.
Um, so Michael Northwest. Say so Michael Northwest. Or Ray so, Walters is a good guy. Yeah. Guru is a good guy too. So. Well, Gibson is a good guy. <laughs> Fair enough. So guys, <laughs> we want to thank you for that. This be like all of air comments <laughs> that we have it on here. So we want to thank each and every one. You have a blessed and wonderful good night. Uh, again, we have um, myself, Kimar Safri. Somebody was asking who's the moderator. Um, we have Jeremy Bedford. Just raise your hand. Kimar yes. Stewart, moderator. We have uh, the money. Uh, small, and then we have Paul Gibson from PDP. Again, and what's the party name? Again, sorry. People's again. Party for Democracy we have and to Development. Get, uh, PDP. We have to get custom to that. And Verla, the PISA, president of the Democratic Labour Party. Kimara, look so, at you. You have the official opposition and the people's opposition. <laughs> I like we can end on that, people. Yeah? <laughs> before, before we get felt out on the show. And her shoes are back on. Have a good night.